Today on Sly Guys, homemade Dippin' Dots using liquid nitrogen. Welcome to Sci Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're making homemade Dippin' Dots. It's finally a nice day for some ice cream. Ah, uh, last time was fine too. Latent heat is the amount of energy it takes to change a substance from one state of matter into another. In this case, a liquid into a gas. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes whipping cream or heavy cream, skim milk, sugar, vanilla extract, if you want to change the flavor, you can use syrup such as chocolate or strawberry. You'll need a large mixing bowl. A wooden spoon. A narrow nozzled squeeze bottle. You'll need to use a Pyrex beaker or metal bowl. You can't use a normal glass container because it can't handle the stress of the cold temperatures. Measuring spoon and cup. And finally, a large container of liquid nitrogen. We got ours from Prax Air, but search online to find a local supplier. This experiment requires adult supervision. The safety equipment includes an apron or lab coat, certified cryo gloves, and a full face mask. Always remember to treat liquid nitrogen like you would boiling water. The first step in our experiment is to mix all of our ingredients together in one big bowl. Mix one cup of whipping cream, one cup of milk, a half cup of sugar, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Mix all your ingredients together until all of the sugar has been dissolved into the solution. Next, fill your squeeze bottle with your ice cream mixture. Now with your safety equipment on, fill your container with liquid nitrogen. Once your liquid nitrogen has stopped bubbling so violently, slowly drip your ice cream mixture into it while stirring. To change the flavor of your ice cream, add flavored syrup into the bottle. Remember to add extra as flavors are muted when they are cold. Once you're done adding your syrup, shake the bottle until the syrup is thoroughly mixed into the ice cream mixture. Then drip it into the liquid nitrogen. Once you're done making Dippin' Dots, put them in a bowl and then place them in the freezer for a few hours to warm up. After a few hours of warming up in the freezer, you'll have a tasty treat to enjoy on a summer day. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. All substances are made of molecules and have an associated temperature. The greater the motion of the molecules, the higher the temperature of the substance and therefore the more energy it has. If enough energy is added or removed from a substance, it will change state. Latent heat is the amount of energy that's needed to change a substance from one state of matter to another. For instance, it takes energy to boil liquid nitrogen, turning it from a liquid to a gas. On the other hand, to freeze a liquid, like our ice cream mixture, energy needs to be removed, which changes the substance from a liquid to a solid. Each substance goes through changes of state at different temperatures. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius, where liquid nitrogen will boil at a much lower temperature of minus 195.8 Celsius, and freezes at an even lower temperature of minus 210 Celsius. When we drip the room temperature ice cream mixture into the extremely cold beaker of liquid nitrogen, energy is quickly pulled from the ice cream mixture, dropping its temperature, causing it to freeze, and changing its state from a liquid to a solid. The energy from our ice cream mixture has to go somewhere. The energy that is removed from the ice cream mixture is absorbed by the liquid nitrogen, causing it to boil and changing its state from a liquid to a gas. Once the ice cream mixture is frozen, it will continue to give up energy, causing its temperature to continue to drop and the nitrogen to continue to boil. This will continue until the temperature of the ice cream drops down to around the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen. The reason you need to wait for the ice cream to warm up before eating it is because it's so cold that it will instantly freeze to your tongue and the inside of your mouth. Well that's it for Homemade Dippin' Dots, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching, bye! Bye! A delicious treat for a summer day. It's a little too cold still. Mm-hmm. 
Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents permission before you share any photos or videos.